Hey y'all, good guys, Indy 2015, and I got a, a 61 Jeep forward control on C4 running gear. It is absolutely cool. So anyways, let me get the camera turn around, we'll take a look at it. How cool is that, right? And he autocrosses it, so with any luck, I'll be able to catch him uh, autocrossing. He built the thing at home. Look at the wheels on the back, man, and stagger on this thing. Huh? How cool is that? Nice interior in it. Could do an endo, right? That's the only thing about it. Old Timmy's got a uh, one of them Fords, and you can tip it up on the nose. Man, I just have to grab these things when I can, guys. So if I can grab a clip of it with that uh, motor exposed so we can see how all that works, I'll sure do it but I just couldn't pass on this car. It's just too cool. At home too, that's what's, you know, the other cool thing about it. I'd like to get the whole story on it, but like I said, you know, we're just out here trying to uh, get you all what's cool. And with all the background music, sometimes that's hard to do. Took a little effort, but uh, there you go. Nothing fancy, because the cover is fancy, right? That's cool, man. There's the real LS, so look how low it's mounted. We're gonna see this thing on the autocross, so come on, let's go. How long did it take you to build this, John? I have about five years of it. And where did you uh, conceive the notion to do it? <laughs> that, that was the funny part. So again, what possessed you to uh, well, do this? Well, when I was a kid, my uncle owned Fitzsimmons Motors, a Jeep dealership. Right. And when my dad and my uncle go out uh, having a few pops, uh, I would be playing in the showroom, and I used to play in one of these things. Oh, no They kid. had four-wheel drive and stick shift, and so <clears throat> as a kid, I, uh, I, I knew about these things because he had one as a jump start vehicle in Evanston. Uh, he had a little wrecker on the back and a, you know, uh, like a Briggs and Stratton uh, generator on it to go jump start people, and he plowed parking lots and stuff with one. So, <clears throat> customer of mine said, hey, John, you know, be looking for an FC 150. I go, I'll take it. Right, right. I don't care how much it is, I'll take it. <laughs> I yeah. paid a whopping 150 bucks for it. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Wow. What shape was it in? It was bad. Yeah. yeah I, I thought I was going to make a snowplow truck out of it for, for my parking lot. Right. And uh, it had a plow on it. It had 2,000 pounds of concrete in the back bed. Oh, wow. And, no, it's a combination, right? I mean, you got a muscle car, drivetrain in, a uh, truck, which trucks are hot right now. Yeah, yeah. And then it's Jeep truck, so it's kind of like a unique thing that there's not a bunch of them out there, yeah. you know? Yeah, it was fun building, too. It was, it was a challenge. Oh, I bet it was yeah. a challenge now. Yeah, the, the biggest problem I had when I, when I started hooking up the Corvette stuff, when I turned left, the tires would go right. Oh, really? And you turn left or go right, the tires go left because it's, I, I had to flip the rack around. So I landed up finding, what they called it a, um, a transfer box. And the transfer box takes it and puts it at 45 degree angle. So I go down in and then 45 degrees out, back to the rack. Cool. A lot of engineering had to go into it too then. Yeah. A lot of trial and error. Three times and everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One to see what it looked like, two to get it close, and three to make it look good. Make it work, yeah. And now, dude, you nailed it. Like I said, the unique is what's cool. And, you know, I mean, they say cars and trucks are an extension of our personality, you know, and uh, you've made a happy hot rod, you know. <laughs> It brings a smile to people's Yeah, face. that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's one of those things to do. It makes you grin. Yeah. You can't help but grin when you look at that. And you see the Corvette wheels, and you think to yourself, really? Could it be, you know? And, uh, yeah, you get to know about it, and sure enough, that is just very cool, brother. Thank you. And, of course, the question everybody wants to know, is it tip over when you hit the brakes? No, I put 250 pounds of lead in the back. Oh, okay. I, uh, I, I melted lead little lead ingots and stuffed them into the frame rail just uh, so I had a little more weight in the back. Right. Yeah, I'm going to run it again. Yeah. Because otherwise it might. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah.
77.014 for John Conway. There you go. 61 Jeep Forward Control C4 LS Hot Rod. Hope you all enjoyed it. See you.